Ever noticed how in movies or stories about Alzheimer's, it's often a grandmother, a mother, or an aunt at the center of the narrative? It's not just a storytelling trope. There's a stark scientific reality behind it. Let's talk about why Alzheimer's seems to hit women so much harder. The statistics are staggering. Did you know that nearly two-thirds of all Americans living with Alzheimer's are women? Let me say that again. Two-thirds. And it's not just because women, on average, live longer than men. For a long time, that was the simple go-to explanation. Well, women live longer, so they have more time to develop it. But scientists are now saying, hold on, that's not the full picture. The longevity gap only explains a small part of this massive disparity. So what's really going on? The deeper we dig, the more we find that a woman's biology plays a huge and often overlooked role. Let's start with hormones. Estrogen. A key female hormone is like a superhero for the brain. It helps with memory, promotes the growth of neurons, and has protective anti-inflammatory effects. But what happens during menopause? Estrogen levels plummet. This dramatic hormonal shift is now seen as a critical window of vulnerability for the female brain. Think of it like a protective shield suddenly being lowered, leaving the brain more susceptible to the kind of damage that leads to Alzheimer's. Some research even suggests that the earlier a woman enters menopause, the higher her potential risk. But it's not just about hormones. There's also a genetic component. You've probably heard of the APOE4 gene, the strongest known genetic risk factor for Alzheimer's. Well, it turns out this gene doesn't play fair. For some reason, we're still trying to fully understand. Women who carry one copy of the APOE4 gene are at a significantly higher risk of developing Alzheimer's than men who carry the exact same gene. It's like the gene has a different, more aggressive effect depending on your sex. And finally, let's talk about the immense, often invisible role of caregiving. Throughout history and still today, women are predominantly the primary caregivers for family members, caring for children, aging parents, and often a spouse with dementia. This role is physically and emotionally draining. Chronic stress, Sleep deprivation and social isolation are all part and parcel of the caregiver experience. And guess what? All of those factors are now recognized as significant risk factors for developing dementia themselves. It's a cruel, heartbreaking cycle. The very act of caring for someone with Alzheimer's can increase a woman's own risk of getting it. So this isn't just a story about women living longer. It's a complex puzzle of genetics, hormones, and the heavy societal burdens women carry. Understanding this isn't about scaring people, it's about empowering them. It's a call to action for more research focused specifically on women's brain health. It's a reminder for every woman to prioritize her own well-being, to manage stress, to stay active, to get enough sleep, and to advocate for herself in the doctor's office.